Welcome back guys to how to use chips and gates. This time we're going to be looking at the add gate and the and and add gate. So now the way these work, obviously they do what they say. The add gate can add two values. I don't mind my shitty frames. The add gate can obviously add two or more values, I should say. So in this case here we got 100 and 100. We'll hook those up and we'll hook the screen up to it. So if I press 1, should say 100. Next one, 200. It'll add any value that you put into it. Ooh. The next one we're going to be looking at is the and and add gate. This one here is quite cool. I really like this gate. It's good for using in a lot of creation. It only has two inputs, A and B. So we'll go this one here and also this button here. So now we can make it, if we press this button, the value will be zero. Even if we hook it up, it sh the value will be zero. An AND gate means that both of the input values must be equal to one or higher in order for the gate to actually work. So no if we trigger e either of these buttons, only if one of them is pressed, the value will be zero. If both buttons are pressed, it'll add those two values together to equal, um, you know, obviously add them together. So now this is useful when you're making a uh, bomb or something and you want to carry over a value. Let's just say in this instance maybe 190. If we place down that, and we can make that button, instead of being at 100, we'll just make it normal on value of 1. Let's update those. So now we'll go and an add gate. We'll go constant value to the button. So now when that button is pressed, it'll equal... 191. But remember, you'll always have to compensate for the one that it adds for the button. So since it's 190 on this, plus 1 for the button, it'll equal 191. So remember, you always have to compensate for that. So that can work if you're trying to turn on a light. So if we go, if we go here, we'll, we'll get a light. Just chuck it down anywhere. And you'll see if we just wire red up to the button, Nothing will happen, because you can't see it. So this is where the AND and ADD gate will come in, because then you'll want to use, I'll set the constant value, 254, 254. Then because we need to compensate for that one that we're going to be gaining, I mean, one won't really matter in this case. So now we just wire red up to the uh, gate output, switch it on, and we can see it. That is how you can use the add gate and the and and add gate. Thanks guys for watching.